this year? Yes. All right, fantastic. My name is Mike Berlin, and I'm the chairman of the Democratic Party of Georgia, and I want to talk a little bit about what we're, we're doing here in the state of Georgia in 2012. We're working really hard on trying to make sure that we're completely organized and we get ready for the re-election campaign for Barack Obama. And I will tell you that based on my conversations with the White House, as well as the real ex staff, that we expect Georgia to be in play in 2012. Um, we've already got a pretty ambitious voter registration program that we put together. We've got about 133 county parties that are now active. And we're working very hard to try to get back to those voters that we lost over the last several election cycles outside the metro areas in the state. So we're pretty pleased with where we are at this point. We've got a pretty dynamic group of people that are working, and we fully expect in 2012 we're going to win the state for the president. How are we going to get the minority community engaged in <clears throat> well, this process? Well, that's a great question, and, and I'll tell you, the, the minority community is, is absolutely, one, absolutely one of the keys to what we're going to do here in 2012. We have a, uh, a segment of our voter registration plan that's dedicated to the minority communities across the state. And that's, that's not just the African-American community, but it's also the Latino community, as well as the Asian outreach that we have. And we believe there's about 300,000 additional Democrats that are there to be registered. The significance of that is this. In 2008, President Obama got 47.5% of the vote here in Georgia after the campaign pulled out about six weeks before the election. He lost by about 200,000 votes. And we think that we have enough now in voter registration with the 300,000 that we can make up a lot of those numbers. So we're pretty confident that we're going to do very well here in 2012. Now, I have another little question I want sure. to ask. Are you familiar with Burst County? What's going on with the equipment team? I'm not. I'm not. Oh, the equipment 10. Yes, equipment 10. yes, I am. Yeah, I am. Right. I am. <clears throat> what are we doing in terms of what the governor said in terms of voter, voter fraud? In well, terms of absentee ballot, is there training that we need to do or what? There, there, there is, and, and I am familiar with, with what's going on there. We've got, we've discovered that there are an awful lot of things that happen, maybe intentionally or maybe unintentionally, with the Secretary of State's office concerning voter registration and voter fraud. And so we put together a very ambitious program across the state. We have several lawyers involved in it where we're, we're making sure that there's unfettered access to the polls. And, you know, there's a lot, a lot. How can I describe this? The Republican administration seems to be spending a lot of their time trying to figure out how not to get people to vote. And we're doing our very best to make sure that people can vote. So we've got a team of, number one, we've got a team of lawyers in place to make sure that everything's covered. The second thing is this. Georgia law actually requires that uh, high schools do at least one voter registration drive in March or April of, of the year in which the seniors are going to graduate. We discovered that a lot of the schools don't do that. So we're pushing very hard on the voter registration because we realize that by registering these young people and making sure that the registration process is right, that that'll help us with the voter, the voter drive as well. And see, I'm looking at it in terms of with the equipment team, yeah. it's causing a lot of fear in it terms is. of people to get out to vote. How do we combat that? Well, or and, what's in place? Well, and that's, and that's basically why we've got the lawyers involved because sort of with equipment 10, some of that may have been intimidation in an effort to try to get them to stop voter registration because you have a lot of community activists and other people that work with organizations other than the Democratic Party they are trying to elect, trying to get people to vote. And so we've put this program together so that if an organization wants to try to do a voter registration drive, all they need to do is get in touch with us and we can make sure that we've got them covered with legal protection and we can also get them trained in making sure they do things right. It, you can do 99% of the things right in voter registration, but if you do 1% of it wrong, then you have a problem. And so we're focusing on the training, and we're also focusing on making sure that if somebody's doing it the right way, we got their backs. We want to make sure that they're covered and they're protected when we put things together. Well, can you give us your the contact information for anybody that has any questions or want to support? Sure. If, if someone's interested in getting in touch with us, you can, you can always reach us at uh, our website, which is georgiademocrats.org. We have a pretty interactive website. Um, you can always go there, or you can email us directly at info at georgiademocrats.org, and we can answer just about any question that you have. I want to thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. It was a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. Good to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.